Okay, this is a GUA uh, Snyder General. And uh, I've got the cover off of the burners. You got three ribbon type burners in there. Flame rod here, the end of this, and hot surface ignited there. That's pretty standard for uh, this type of furnace. Um, a lot of them came, uh, you know, this is just standard old ribbon burners. Uh, this one's a little different. I've got this kind of a part here so you can see inside, but this thing won't work this way. If I try to fire it up, it will not work properly. In order for this thing to work, I've got to have this shield in here. Now the shield goes in, I'll, I'll put it in, and then you can take a look at how it is when it's put in, and I'll tell you why it's there. Okay, here this thing is with the shield installed. Now I'm going to show you why that shield needs to be there. Okay, with a bit of a close-up here, you can see right there, that is the, uh, the forced air fan outlet. So air is coming right down on here. If I did not have this in place, air would come down and put the burners out. So it has to go out and around and then under here. Also, this unit cannot be fired up with the cover off here. There's a cover for this silly thing. And if you try to fire it off with the cover off, you get a face full of fire. Uh, I've got it set up so that we can start it because we, I can put a little clear piece over this. Okay, there our burner is lit. Really hard to see the flame there, but you can kind of see it. Uh, that shield covers everything up, uh, but just simply ribbon burners uh, coming up like that.